Hey everybody. Hey. I'm Peter. I'm Kitra. And we are Ordinary Adventures. Today we are in Knott's Berry Farm. It is National Cowboy Day. Happy National Cowboy Day. Yeah, we didn't dress up, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we're here to experience Ghost Town is Alive. Yeah. Is, uh, we've been to Knott's before. We've been to Knott's, I've only, we've only been a few times. I've never been here for the Ghost Town Alive, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. Yeah, I'm really excited about this because this is like a fully interactive experience. You go into this ghost town and you get to uh, talk and interact and there's storylines. It's almost like Westworld. There's loops that go Aww. out throughout the day. Yeah. And uh, this is what was promised of Galaxy's Edge, that we would have interactions and storylines throughout the land. That didn't happen. The Imagineer that was working on that, I think, is the guy that's responsible for Ghost Town is alive. Oh, I wow. could be wrong. So I'm excited to see, get a little glimpse of what Galaxy's Edge, the initial plans for Galaxy's Edge would have been. Come, Come with on, us yes. on this adventure. <laughs> And we are here because it is National Cowboy Day. You need a cowboy hat. I gotta feed my stunt today. We got hoedown at five. Oh, are you kids going to the hoedown at five thirty? No. Yeah, you better be on the lookout for the Mayfields today. They always come out of the woodwork whenever the Founders Day. They show up. I, I just don't understand. Who who are the Mayfields? Well, you know the Mayfields. They're they're they're, they're this uh, clan of a. Uh, um, Ne'er do wells that come into town and just want to make a little bit of havoc. And you know what? Actually, they're kind of lovable anyway. They are. I, I tell you, who could not like the Mayfields? Morning. Good morning, sir. Hey, happy Founders Day. Be sure to come about uh, 12 o'clock because. Uh, we need some help with the newspaper office. So oh, we're a bit short on orders. So if anything exciting happens, could you let us know at the Calico Gazette office? We overheard the Mayfield game talking about Robin the Assay office today. I don't know if that's true or not. The bank is just on the other side of this here museum. Now, in your free time, would you mind just double check and make sure everything's safe in there? Maybe double check the, the safe, and make sure it's locked tight, and just make sure the gold is stored in the back, maybe. At your Probably. leisure. Yeah. What are y'all up to today? No, we just got oh, here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Check out. <laughs> <laughs> so today's Founders Day. I didn't realize that when I, we were coming today. I think it's Founders Day every day here. Yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of like Westworld, where okay. the day repeats itself. Uh, there's changes abound in the town of Calico. Oh, that's the ho hoedown that we got yeah, go to go Yeah, there's a hoedown. Now. It doesn't tell you on this, so that's good to know. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's some kind of elixir. Boysenberry elixir. I'm interested in that. Yeah, we'll have to find that. And what else do we have here? Oh, there's a whole map of Calico. Oh, and here's all the activities that are on this paper as well. But there's also the Mayfield guys have their own, it looks like they got a snake boot race. Huh. Wow. And people should uh, probably wondering, what is this? Uh, Knott's Berry Farm started, I guess, in the 1920s, technically, as a farm and as a chicken restaurant, Mr. and Mrs. Knott's Chicken Restaurant. And uh, in the 60s, turned into a full-fledged amusement park. But technically, this predates Disneyland, which is right down the street. Okay, so we found Town Hall. We're gonna go in there and see if we can become citizens. The, the people who run the Gazette and they talk about yeah. copying today's paper. Well, ain't you a peach without the pit? Oh my, word. look at that. Yeah. Now, that's a headline. Look at that. <laughs> no tar and feathers here, people. Nothing but good. <laughs> well, my word, it's Buck. Howdy. Buck, how you doing? I heard you were in town today, that's sir. That's right, that's right. National Cowboy. It is National yeah. Cowboy. Hey, just meeting these folks here. They brought me my newspaper. Oh, nice, nice. And happy Founders Day happy to y'all. Happy Founders Day to you as well. <laughs> Would you like to be sworn in as honorary citizens of the town of California? We would these love that. Halls. I'll follow you. Well, here's what we got to do. You got to um, take an oath and then write your name in my book. And then you will be part of this town. Great. Okay, you ready? I Say your name. Kitra. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will always do right. That I will always do right. Here's the last step. Yes, I just got to yell out the word yee-haw. <laughs> One, two, three. Yee-haw! Yeah. 
and pour it and puts the lid on the pickle jar. Well, I declare it, pretty thing. Write your name oh, in that thank book. Thank you. And you can too, Mr. Fuzzy Face. Yeah, if you, you want gotta to. do the yeehaw too. Oh, I, I, wait, do I have to do the yeehaw? Uh, you, you were present here. Look at that. Well, today is Founders Day. Our town is 78 years old, and we are going to celebrate with a hoedown at 5:30. Oh, we'll definitely check that out. Oh, there's gonna be a bluegrass band and everything. One, two, three! Yeehaw! <laughs> great, great job. You know what? Hey, hey, don't go nowhere. Stay right there. I'm not seeing such positive. Oh! oh. I'm gonna award you with two of these. Oh! Uh, I don't just hand these out. This is a, a smaller Stetson, but you, I declare, you wear this on your head at a rakish angle. Every fella's gonna ask you to dance. Which, uh, uh, whichever one there you go. That's it. Uh, it's called a hurricane strap. Cowboys would tighten that up so it wouldn't fly out when they're riding a horse. Oh, oh my God. word, look at that. He looks like $14. They look like real cowboys. I declare. Oh my Yeehaw. word. <laughs> Yeehaw indeed. For horses only, do not drink. Peter, do not drink. And that's that hoedown that's happening later. Right now we're headed over, where are we headed? We're going to the saloon. It's only 11 a.m. but it's five o'clock somewhere. What's going on with this hat? I'm Bud Shakarilla for everybody. Woo! Okay. But better. What is sarsaparilla? What is going on in here? Sarsaparilla, me. Folks, we're going to town hall. So they're headed over to town hall. We're following them. See what's going on here. I actually got myself an important telegram that I need to read to the town. All right. And it says, uh, from the United States Cavalry Office of General Grant Higginbottom, a squad of soldiers under my command has been dispatched with orders to scout town of Calico as possible location for a new fort. <laughs> new fort. Once the troops' investigations is complete, they are to report their findings to me personally. Signed, General Grant Higginbottom. <laughs> Oh my word, that's exciting news! Who would have ever thought that someday the town of Calico might actually get a fort? Y'all, we're, we're gonna need to get things in order if we hope to, you know, pass muster. So. And we don't need no trouble from you Mayfield lot. We aren't gonna cause any trouble, Judge. Oh. Not like the trouble you caused my family when you stole my mom away from my dad. <laughs> in the first place, they weren't together no more. In the second place, that's none of your gold darn business. Yeah. Well, well, either way you look at this, people, oh my word, this is single-handedly the most exciting thing to ever happen in this town. Why, why don't we give this key to them cowboy dudes when they get here, and that'll help us get that fort. Oh, good idea. Oh my word, can we read that telegram to the sheriff? Come on, let's go do it. Come on, let's go see the sheriff. Oh, this is so my come on. Oh my word, this is like, oh, everybody. It's like the, I'm gonna get reelected. Not even do anything. This, this is, is a is big like day. Literally the <laughs> yeah, we happen to be here on this big day. Everything's happening. It's a momentous occasion. What do you think? I actually like that. Like things are happening, and you're following the storyline. Yeah, this is really That's fun. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Sheriff Bryce, are you in there? All right, Clay. What's this rock song? What coronation's going on out here? And we will be relying heavily upon the sheriff. To help all of us put our best foot forward. Well, you know you count on us. Oh, my word, I know I can. Oh, my word, people, can you imagine the town of Calico actually getting its own fort? No. Why? Oh, no. We could actually become the jewel of the West. Ooh. Well, when do they get here? Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, oh, it doesn't say. Oh, everybody, please be on your best behavior. Especially you Mayfield, to so keep your eyes right, peeled. Mr. Deputy Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, I know we could use your help right here at the you out. office. Actually, we need to update our posse. So if you come right back here to 1155, <laughs> you can help update that with us. We're at 1155, and well, you need any help at the post office today? Oh yes, most definitely. Oh my word, and I definitely could use help in town hall, folks. Please, find yourself a town citizen and ask how you can lend a hand. Help us get that fort. No, he walked into the bar and like bought everybody sarsaparilla. You know what this stuff is? 
It's root beer basically made with honey instead of sugar. It is an 1800s delight. You put that in your belly, you'll smile big as a Cheshire cat, I declare. I love ghost town. It's like very beautiful and very like, it's very charming. I'd say charming. Yes, charming. <laughs> So at Knott's, they, they, they used to grow boysenberries here at this farm. Yes. And now they have boysenberry cider. And boysenberry beer. And it tastes good. I love it. Yeah. Here. It's a founder's day. The founder's day. It's a cowboy day. It's a cowboy, yes. Yeehaw! Cheers, am I right, ladies? She likes it. Okay, so we went on some rides, and it seems like we missed the bank robbery. At noon, as uh, my understanding, oh. my son was framed for bank robbing. Oh, oh got framed. No. Well, we heard the rumors. Dang, are they true? Or he didn't do it? I don't think so, yeah. and I would know because one, he wouldn't try to rob that bank on his own. That's at least a three-person job. And two. <laughs> We didn't come to town to rob the bank. What did you come to town for? But now we can't do that because my son's in jail. So we're already. Is there going to be a hearing? 3:30, right over here. At 2:30, the cavalry is supposed to tell everybody whether or not the town gets a fort. Oh, okay. They got framed for robbery. Yeah, they totally didn't do it. I believe that guy. He yeah, seems he nice. Yeah, he seems legit. They framed his son, like. Yeah. I like how there's like things going on throughout the day, like the storyline progresses. Yeah, this is really, really, really a lot more. I knew it was going to be fun, but this is more fun than I was anticipating. Yeah. All right, gather around, everybody. I have a very important announcement. The United States Cavalry has arrived, and they've been with us all day long, conducting a thorough investigation. We will not be recommending Calico for a fault at this time. <laughs> The following is a list of observations concerning the town of Calico. The town's bank is owned by an amnesiatic train robber and employs a bank guard who is a known bank thief. That's true. The staff of the bank routinely loses the combination to the vault and seems to be unable to keep a group of incompetent local outlaws from robbing it on a daily basis. The prison, the, the jail houses a prisoner who's been in his cell so long that he has lost the ability to physically move. <laughs> and lastly, the whole town features citizens who go out of their way to have out-of-towners do their jobs instead of themselves. And ladies and gentlemen, that just scratches the surface. So I have no other recourse at this time but to remove Calico from a potential site list. There has to be some way that you can help us! I was thinking of a way if you just come collect yourself, son! Now, if we go ahead and take the money out of the bank, and place it within the care of the United States military. Uh -oh. you. We can become the treasury of the town. All right, Otis, bring forth the wagon. Wagon. Get back, everyone. Get back, please. This wagon, this box, will now become the, the United States treasury. We will take all of the money from the town, place it within this box. We will then take this box, place it outside the sheriff's office, where we will stand guard around the clock. Doesn't that make you feel safer already? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get down to the bank of the boat. Oh, Come on, everybody, let's get that gold out of the bank. Come on, go. We're going to get all the gold out of the bank so the U.S. government can watch it for us. Come on. Oh, this is the best thing that ever happened. So do you think this is a good idea? No, this is a terrible idea. These guys are thieves. They're trying to steal all of our hard-earned money. Nobody's in the marshal. It doesn't seem something's wrong with it. Ma'am, that this bank and all of its financial assets and fundings are now under the care of the United States military. You ready? Here we go. Here's Every the penny of right that down. sweet, oh, sweet oh, American oh, money. Oh, 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 this does not seem like a good idea. <laughs> this is not a good idea. These people are going to steal the money. money. Oh, oh, Bring the money. Oh, hey, what about that? All right, Otis. All right. To the sheriff's office. 
This seems like a perfectly good idea. Well, this all is the, the best. Yeah. That bank gets robbed all the dang time. Doesn't even got a roof anymore for Pete's sake. Fishy? No, no, you ain't gonna find fish in an environment like this, ma'am. Oh my word. No, this is wonderful. United States government? If you can't trust the U.S. government, who the heck can you trust? <laughs> get robbed again. Oh my word, these guys even have their own Let's Protect the Gold theme song. They must do this all the time. When he gets back here, but it is my duty to inform you that this office and anyone working inside there are now to report directly to me and private owners. Brady, is that clear? I said, is that clear? Thank you. At 3.30 today, you, along with all your deputies, will march Scruff Moonfield when he returns from his work detail back to town hall where he will stand trial. Do you understand? They were talking about there's a, a, guy, a prisoner in the jail that's not moving. Well, we want to talk to him over here in the jail right now. I've seen this guy before. He's been up here for a long time. Yeah. Sir? Hello? Oh. How long have you been in here? Oh, it's been a long time. I've lost track of how long. Uh, they, they, they've taken all the assets. The government is, is, is reclaiming all the assets. What does that mean? I don't know. Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? The government came in and basically took all the money out of the bank and is guarding it. And we don't. We think it's a little weird. That does sound strange. When when exactly did like your face stop moving? Did my face stop moving? <laughs> yeah. Like I can hear what you're saying, but like your mouth's not like moving. Oh, I'm a very talented ventriloquist, but they took my dummy. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how that happened, but we got roped into a game of Polish poker. Well, uh, would you like to sit down and play? Yeah, maybe. Sure. Hi, yeah. You sit down. I'll hey, hey, right. All right, you don't have to know the poker hands. I actually have nothing to yeah. do with poker, and I'm not even sure why it's called Polish poker. I you gave me oh, no! Oh! <laughs> you gave it to him. Oh. Uh. Why did you do that? Oh, no. Uh. Which was really fun, office. by the way. I've never played it before. Yeah, I'm not sure how much luck and how much uh, skill there is to it, but it was fun. You yeah. won the last game, yeah. and they ended up giving us a bandana. Yeah, Can you show got, us this? We got a cool bandana, and it's not just any bandana. It actually has like the map of Calico on it. Yeah. Which, this is a really cool souvenir. I mean, I don't know if they sell this anywhere, so. And it, there was nowhere posted that's like, come play two rounds of poker and you get a bandana. Yeah, he it, just did it by chance, and since we played the full two rounds, he gave, he gave us a gift. I like that you can just run into different like things in this town. Yeah, so far, they, they, I was worried because we didn't have any cowboy gear, and we got a bandana and a hat today. So. You know, I, I love Galaxy Set. We've been there a dozen times. You guys know that. I wish there was some of this. I wish there was characters walking around. I wish there was like random, you know, sabak tournaments you could get into. So if you didn't rob it, who did? He did. I didn't rob it. It wasn't me. Yeah. All the town's, how come all the town's money's inside that box? It's not me robbing it. The town gave it to me to protect it. Where were you when the robbery happened? Uh, we were performing an investigation of the town, taking a look over there, we were doing inspections. Found him out there with the money, the gun. Oh, uh, th th that sounds legit. Sounds, sounds, I, buy say, I, I buy it. No matter whether you buy it. I'll tell you what happened. I was in there closing my mom's account. This fella comes in the back and I said, hey, mister, you look familiar to me. Where do I know you from? Next thing I know, he shoved a sack of money into my hand and threw me out in the street and started shooting. Didn't that lock everybody standing inside a jail cell to say they're innocent? No one ever, no one ever inside a jail cell says they're guilty. That's why we have due process. The only thing I know this stuff because I've been in jail before. Yeah, yeah. One, two, you know I mean. three, hold it. Perfect. Oh, oh, hold on, that's it. Going to jail. <laughs> By many accounts, a witness 
many witnesses of this robbery, including you have Mr. Flint, Mrs. Lemons, and Scruff himself, all say that the cavalry that came in were not able to pronounce the word cavalry right. They had no horses, no spurs, and they came in through the back door unwelcomed. Scruffy's name was on the bank ledger, and his lawyer has the receipt. He's doing perfectly legal business, see? There's the receipt right there. That's true. Then I'm gonna hear the truth from the colonel who arrested you. So, oh. Colonel Hudson, would you please approach the bench? Make way, everybody, for Colonel Hudson. Make way for Colonel Hudson. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, your honor. Your Honor, the officers do not appear to be present. Well, they're right behind you. We march stroke over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe maybe they're back there with that wagon that has all our money in it guarding it for us. Guarding the money. You know, it's mighty odd that they would be missing. Uh -oh. Why if they're not the only thing that's missing? <gasps> the wagon! The wagon! The wagon! The wagon! The Make sure the wagon's there with the money! Wait a minute! All that beautiful money! I'm coming with you! Come on, everybody! Come on, the money! Go, go, go! Get over here! Come on! Honey, I think you were right. I was right. I told you they weren't the real cavalry. I know. I was just playing along. I, I I knew from the beginning. You know what I think? I think there was some kind of scavenger hunt that you could figure out all the clues. So those kids oh, there probably like, was. Yeah. I mean, I, I will say this. I know this is a little cheesy and hokey, but I'm really enjoying this. This makes me wish that Westworld was real. I know. And I hope I translate in this video how much fun this actually is. Oh! Oh! What do you mean he's not in there? Wait. Wait a minute, wait, hey, hang on everybody, oh, 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 oh. There's, there's gotta be a rational explanation for all this. I'll tell you what the rational explanation is. You've been robbed. What? Oh, this yes, is rich. You've Where had every gold? single dollar stolen, and not by the man of whom you falsely accused. It's just like my mother used to say, never judge a book by its cover until you've walked a mile in that person's book. Mother never said that. I think my son is free to go. Yeah. All right, release Scruff. He's free to go. Yeah. Yeah. What? They're the gang they've been warning you about. Who? They're the Mad Bucks gang. Oh! oh. I told you that fellow looked familiar. Oh! oh. 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 What are we gonna do now? I'll tell you what me and my family are gonna do. We're gonna go out for the fellas, catch them, bring all your money back, and you're gonna put every dollar back in that bank. And we're gonna rob it, just like we always do. Because we're the Mayfields. Let's go, we got it. The Mayfields going after that money, it's like letting a mouse watch over cheese. Do you think they're going to bring that money back or are they going to take it for themselves? I think they, they they get some pleasure in robbing that bank. Oh, that's that's their pride and joy. They love it. it they, they, they don't even wait for depositors to put money back in it. They just rob it. <laughs> it's just what they do, sir. So you don't think they're going to come back? I don't know. I, the optimistic side of me says, yeah, what do you think, sir? I don't know. I'm hoping. He seems to think they're coming back. What do you think, lovely lady? I think they're long gone. They got it and they're out of here. They're handsome and they got a bag of cash. We ain't never gonna see them again. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's where we're What what happened? Uh, the Mad Bucks were run down out of town by the Mayfield gang. We wrestled them to the dirt, got dirt all over ourselves and brought them back to the dirt. No, you never do. You're the biggest mess up I've ever seen. I remember when you were five years old. Gentlemen, you were under arrest for robbing the bank and impersonating military officers. What do you have to say for yourself? What? Oh, you want us to say we're sorry? Because we ain't sorry. <laughs> Who caught him? They caught him. The Mayfields caught him. How about a hand for the Mayfields, everybody? Mayfield family? <laughs> Thank you for saving our town. <laughs> Looks like they got a bunch of ghost town merchandise. Well, that's funny. There's the boysenberry elixir that was advertised in the newspaper. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's liquid candy. She got it. No, stop talking. No. <laughs> it's almost 5:30. That means it's almost time for the hoedown here in the town square. So 
I think with the hoedown now in effect, that's the end of Ghost Town Alive here at Knott's Berry Farm. I'm shocked at how much I enjoyed this. This was honestly one of the most fun days I've had in a really, really long time. But being here inside the middle of stories and talking to these characters who are all very just immersive. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to uh, insult Galaxy's Edge because I, I know I've been comparing, doing a lot of comparison yeah. to, to Galaxy's Edge, but there's only so much like saying bright suns is, a, is part of your character. <laughs> Here, every single one of them have like a backstory and like you can go up to them and they are just so good at improv and going, you know. And we were also told by some some people here that the actions on the day, depending on what, what happens, if that person completes that scavenger hunt, if, if people vote uh, for it to be Mayfield Day, things change the story here. Yeah, that makes me want to come back and see like yeah. what else can happen, you know? And I, I really wish Disney will add some of this kind of like flavor and some of these characters to Galaxy's Edge because I, I feel like that's the only thing that's really preventing Galaxy's Edge from being special. Yeah. From being really special. I feel like, like we need droids, we need aliens walking the streets. Yeah, I was we, we need to be droids, come yeah, on. We are promised being in the cantina and then a bounty hunter, hunter would come up to you because you just destroyed the Falcon in your smuggler's run. run. And we've destroyed Not it happening. so many times and no bounty hunters have come up to us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do interact with Vi. We need more interactions like Vi in Galaxy's Edge. Anyways. Agreed. Uh, if you like this video, what should they do? You should probably subscribe and give us a thumbs up that way we know that you enjoy what we're doing. Yeah, and, and if you do subscribe, please hit that bell because that helps us quite a bit. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Ma'am. I'm beginning to think this hat is for child. It doesn't right. quite fit my head. I like it. Partner. So, Peter. Oh my gosh, hi honey. What did you think of today's uh, vlog adventure? Why are you smoking a cigar, honey? Peter? Peter, I'm talking to you. Peter, we're vlogging here. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. I I'm over here, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm ruining the illusion. Uh.